The health of the planet is so important for healthy people because we're totally reliant on this planet for our own health and for essential things like clean water, clean air and, and the food that we eat. Health connects all species, plants, animals, humans. You know, the health, the health of the planet is absolutely essential um, for, for life on Earth. My name's Anna Meredith. I'm a professor of zoological and conservation medicine at the University of Edinburgh. I'm a wildlife vet um, with a lifelong interest and career in wildlife and wildlife population health. We, we really recognise that the drivers of, of biodiversity loss and all the things that are happening in the planet at the moment, climate change particularly, are also the same drivers, a lot of them, that, that drive ill health and the emergence of disease. So One Health recognises that the health and well-being of humans, animals and their shared ecosystems are all interdependent. You know, people have recognised for, for, for centuries since medicine developed that the health of people is related to the environment that they live in. Um, it's not, you know, when, you, when people get sick, it's not some sort of divine retribution, which is what we used to think of, um, but it's linked to, you know, what we eat, the environment we live in, etc. So, so it's not a new concept at all. Um, and also, I think it's not a new concept that humans are also animals, so human disease and animal disease you know, they're, they're inextricably linked. There's no dividing line between those two. We are animals after all. Over time and over the centuries as, as medicine and disciplines developed, we sort of diverged. Um, and as those disciplines got more specialised, um, people tended to you know, forget those really key links between you know, human health, animal health and also the health of the environment and separate disciplines emerged. But we now need to sort of bring those back together again and recognise that, that it's all interconnected and we need all those disciplines and expertise and knowledge working together and communicating together. Um, so it's really exciting actually that One Health is, is, is gaining prominence as this, you know, new but not new concept, um, that everything's interlinked and it's all interdependent. So a good example of this interconnectedness of wild animals, domestic animals and people and their health is perhaps Lyme disease. So this is a disease that can cause really serious illness in people. It's carried by ticks, um, and there's also a wildlife reservoir, so the, the organism that causes Lyme disease circulates in wildlife population, including deer in Scotland. Now, it affects dogs as well, um, domestic dogs, so um, there's an increased risk now because people are going out into the countryside more, interacting with nature and, and getting bitten by ticks more. And we know that wildlife, although they're the reservoir um, of Lyme disease, we know that loss of biodiversity actually increases the risk of Lyme disease emerging and being more prevalent in the ticks. If you have a more biodiverse ecosystem in which that disease circulates, it's less likely to spill over into humans and animals. It effectively, the wildlife and greater diversity greater biodiversity effectively dilutes the, the, the pathogen in the environment. So biodiversity is protecting us from this disease emerging and causing problems in humans and domestic animals. Another really good example of One Health is avian influenza or bird flu. It's causing major problems in our commercial poultry, but it's also causing really severe die-offs of our wild birds, particularly seabirds in Scotland. And of course, we're increasingly worried that this virus can also spill over into mammals, including humans, where it can cause really serious disease. 
So I do think that people can engage at a very simple level just by looking at their own behaviour, understanding those, those links and really simple personal measures like um, not wasting things, living sustainably, um, appreciating that we rely on nature and should cherish it um, and understand its importance. So I think everybody, every individual, can really embrace this, this One Health concept, even if they don't know that it's called that. I think we all think that our own individual actions can't possibly have a global impact, but they do collectively. If we all treasure nature and live more sustainably, even just by making slight changes, that will have a global impact.